SpaceX may launch its latest Starship prototype from the company's Starbase test site in South Texas soon, but exactly when is unclear. Starship SN15, serial number 15, SpaceX's newest vehicle, could fly on a high-altitude test soon from the company's facility near Boca Chica Village in South Texas. Officials with Cameron County, which includes the test site, lifted a road closure alert today, April 30, for a potential test flight. Right in the nick of time for a high-altitude flight test scheduled as early as Friday, April 30, SpaceX has secured an FAA license to launch Starship prototype SN15 and simultaneously received an FCC permit to operate a Starlink dish installed on the rocket. On Wednesday, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, announced that it has authorized SpaceX's plans to launch SN15, as well as two more vehicles, SN16 and SN17, in the weeks ahead. The FAA has authorized the next three launches of the SpaceX Starship prototype, FAA officials wrote in a statement. The agency approved multiple launches because SpaceX is making few changes to the launch vehicle and relied on the FAA's approved methodology to calculate the risk to the public. SN15 is SpaceX's fifth version of Starship to fly in less than five months. SpaceX conducted engine tests of the rocket earlier this week to set the stage for the upcoming launch. The first Starship to fly, SN8, launched December 9 and flew well but crashed during landing. Each of the three other Starship flights, of SN9, SN10 and SN11, had similar fates. The SN10 launch did manage to land but exploded a few minutes after touchdown. None of those flights aimed for space, instead targeting an altitude of 6.2 miles, 10 kilometers. SpaceX is developing the Starship vehicle as part of a fully reusable heavy lift launch system that will also include a massive booster called Super Heavy. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk has said Starship will be the core of the company's deep space rocket fleet for trips to the Moon and Mars. NASA has tapped the Starship vehicle to land its Artemis astronauts on the Moon. SpaceX has also sold a private flight around the moon using Starship to Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa, who is searching for eight crew members to fly with him. Four astronauts wrapping up a 167-day stay aboard the International Space Station Planner Pre-Dawn return to Earth Sunday in a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico south of Panama City, Florida. Their return was delayed several days due to windy weather. It will be the second water landing for a piloted Crew Dragon spacecraft and only the third nighttime splashdown in space history, the first in nearly 45 years. Bidding their seven station crewmates farewell, Crew Dragon Commander Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker and Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi plan to undock from the Harmony Module's upper port at 8.35 p.m. EDT Saturday, kicking off a six-and-a-half-hour re-entry sequence. If all goes well, Hopkins and Glover will monitor an automated 16-minute firing of the spacecraft's braking thrusters starting at 2.03 a.m. Sunday to lower the far side of their orbit deep into the atmosphere to target the planned Gulf of Mexico landing zone. Protected by an advanced heat shield, the Crew Dragon is expected to plunge into the lower atmosphere, deploy its four main parachutes and settle to a relatively gentle splashdown at 2.57 am unlike SpaceX's first Gulf landing last August, when pleasure boats surrounded the Crew Dragon that brought Douglas Hurley and Robert Behan home from the space station, the Coast Guard plans to patrol a 10-mile wide safety zone to keep any early morning onlookers well away. SpaceX recovery teams will be stationed nearby to pull the capsule aboard a support ship and help the crew out of the spacecraft as they began readjusting to gravity. After medical checks, the astronauts will be flown to shore by helicopter and transferred to a NASA jet for a flight back to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Hopkins and company originally planned to land Wednesday but rough weather prompted SpaceX and NASA to delay and docking to Friday and then to Saturday because of higher than allowable winds in the landing zone.
Crew Dragon is in great health on the space station, and teams now forecast ideal conditions for both splashdown and recovery during the weekend, NASA said in a statement.